Hello, Leo. Welcome to your weekly love reading. This will be for Sun, Rising, and Venus. Keep in mind, energy can go vice versa, and this reading won't resonate with everyone, so please just take what fits and leave the rest out. So we have the king, okay, here, taking charge with the queen. We have the king and the queen, my goodness. Uh, this means that you both are on the same page here. Uh, there are feelings that both of you have towards each other but are not expressing okay very much in control it looks like the suppression of um, feelings and needing to open up I want to tell you how I feel yeah I feel you even though we are part so somebody uh, definitely feels now the need to open up overall energy the page of Pentacles this is about progression learning as well as taking uh, the first step here. Okay, so let's see what's going on in your energy this week. So we have the Magician, Eight of Pentacles, the Five of Swords, and the Queen of Swords. So you might be uh, dealing with some conflict here lately, or things have just kind of not gone your way. It feels like every time you really do uh, try to do the right thing, something else happens, and it feels like things that you've been working towards here just kind of fall through. I do see with the Magician here, though, this week, uh, you definitely take charge and have the power to overcome this, as well as uh, your voice being heard. There's something here about uh, you being suppressed or not being able to get your point across. This can be uh, job related or in love, but uh, your voice is definitely going to be heard now. Three of Wands, Judgment, and the Ten of Pentacles for their energy. This person is uh, waiting for Judgment Day, basically. Uh, they're ready to speak up, open up, okay, about their intentions, also about what they want in the future. And they're finally ready to take this jump, okay? Tell me about the Three of Wands. Four of Cups, Seven of Pentacles, they feel like there's been other things stopping them from really being with you uh, the way that they desire here, but also they haven't been courageous enough to address this with you. They really have held back and have been contemplating here, but I see that they're very... Uh, uncomfortable with their environment or they're very miserable where they stand now they feel like uh, things have just not gone their way as well and they feel like they've not been able to do what they desire but uh, how they've shown it to you they feel like they need to own up to this uh, tell with the judgments please tower queen of cups yeah they need to open up uh, from their uh, heart chakra here and actually address their feelings open up and be transparent so let's see what's gone on in the past we have the world card eight of swords page of wands and the knight of swords okay so yeah it's showing up in the past too that they do feel very trapped or bound to their environment or feeling like there's no way out if it's not an environment here this person feels like they you both are two worlds apart this could be even in the way they address their emotions you may be more comfortable uh with doing that and they're uncomfortable this could be distance physically between you two whatever it is stopping this uh, they feel like you are somebody that can really have courage to take charge and they don't feel that about themselves. They don't like to really express what's going on with them. Uh, they haven't really learned, I'm seeing as well with the Page of Pentacles world, how to really, you know, com get comfortable in expressing themselves with someone else, uh, being a team player. Okay, tell me the Eight of Swords. Telling their deepest, darkest desire as well. Page of Cups. Yeah, they're kind of stuck in this uh, beginning stages of this connection. They don't want to really open up and be vulnerable because they, they don't really feel like they have what it takes to be that person that uh, really openly expresses themselves all the time or really reciprocates back and forth. I do see there is something stunted here in the way that they perceive things when it comes to love or relationships or just the fact that they feel like they've walked this world alone and that's their uh, mentality here and that's what they plans to do for the rest of their life until you came in this connection with them and it's something that's jarred their belief system 
all of a sudden it's really hard uh, that they want something, they desire it, but they don't really know if they have the tools in order to uh, make a relationship cohesive, okay? Tell me about the Page of Cups. They're very sensitive inside, but I see they come off with the Knight of Swords here and Page of Wands. Very irrational at times. Sometimes they can be uh, off the cuff, not make sense, as well as cold. And sometimes callous. With Page of Wands, especially with it, uh, they can be callous towards your feelings or uh, say things that could be hurtful or taken in a different way. And it seems like uh, there's no love. There's no bonding that can happen because of how they approach you with the sun card here uh, they know this about themselves okay it's very clear uh, it's just that they haven't had the motivation to change it until you came along we have six of cups two of pentacles and the king of swords so I see, yeah, uh, I mean, they tried to really get out of their heart and into their head. They tried to do things very logically here. They felt like things can become chaotic or a mess if they just let their emotions lead the way. So that's why they're always in this deciding mode with one foot in and one foot out. So you might have seen this person be very wishy-washy here. And at times when you felt like they were starting to come around, they'd get really cold or detached. And just how they talk to you, you or their energy you could feel it uh, with the six of cups here there's definitely a, a connection this bond that feels very unbreakable it feels like both of you uh, were meant to be together in some way and you both get each other uh, and this person definitely feels comfortable with the fact that you understand them not like anyone else in their life uh, tell me about the two of pentacles for some of them, they could have been juggling uh, different things here and keeping up uh, with their responsibilities. Death, Nine of Swords. Yeah, there's a deep fear here. Uh, the fact that they just feel like they don't have what it takes to be cohesive, basically, in a relationship. Can I be that person that is someone else's support system? Can I give back? Uh, they feel like, in a way, they're stunted here. They've not really learned how to share properly or be vulnerable and transparent with who they are, how they're feeling, and want to build something with someone else. They do really have uh, this lone wolf type of mentality, and it's something that they accepted uh, really early on in possibly their childhood or uh, in a certain relationship that affected them in a way. Okay, tell me about the Six of Cups, please. Five of Cups, Seven of Wands. Yeah, it became more intense and hard for them to just kind of straddle the line here because their feelings for you became more uh, intense and extreme, and therefore they were harder on themselves because this is kind of asking themselves, what's wrong with you? Why can't you just go for this? You know, everybody seems to be able to do it. You can do it too. But at the same time, uh, their belief system was stopping them. They would contemplate and go, no, because that's not going to help me in this life. That's not going to uh, make things possible. Uh, you can only trust yourself. So they were having this inner conflict here, uh, really trying to decide what to do and felt very trapped as well. So let's see what they're about to do here because I see that something's different. Uh, they're finally giving into their feelings and emotions. King of Cups, Nine of Pentacles, and the Five of Wands. Yeah, someone's finally giving into their feelings here and getting ready to do something about this that's going to be quite extreme. So if this reading's resonating with you in the extended, we're going to go over exactly what action they take, what they're going to say moving forward, as well as the timing and the outcome. If this is your last stop, though, my lovely Leos, I love you guys dearly, and I'll see you next time.